you guys. So this is an example, um, just some quick examples of dividing numbers that have three or four digit dividends. So we're working with long division. The most important thing is to remember your steps. Remember our saying, does McDonald's sell burgers regularly? Yes, they do. D stands for divide, M stands for multiply, S stands for subtract, B stands for bring down, R stands for repeat. What do you repeat? You go all the way back to the top. If you stay in this order of steps and repeat as you go through the problem, it's really going to help you so that you don't mess up and you don't miss a step, okay? Because it does get a little bit trickier and longer when we work with bigger numbers. So let's go ahead and do an example. It is going to be a bigger one. We're going to do 852 divided by 4. Keep in mind that um, some of your answers might come out with remainders, some of them might not. There's always ways you can go back to check. You can always work backwards with multiplication to make sure you did solve right, and I will show you that with this example. So we are doing 852, again, divided by 4. So um, the very first step is to divide. Always try and see if you can do one digit at a time. If you can, do that. If not, do two digits, and if you can't do that, do three. Well, we have a really low divisor. Four is going into eight. That happens to be a fact family. I know it can fit in, and it can fit in twice. How do I know that? Because four times two is eight. So because four times two is eight, we put the two right above. Four can fit into an eight twice. Then we multiply. 2 times 4 is 8. Then we subtract. 8 minus 8 is 0. Then we bring down. Bring down one digit at a time, okay? And it's a 5. Now we repeat. We start over. So redraw the box, and now we're down here, okay? We, we're just doing this 5 right now. Now, and I will go ahead and actually change the marker so you can see that. So now we're working with the 5. Okay. 5, we're dividing 5 divided by 4. That doesn't come out evenly. 4 times and something doesn't give me 5. But if that's okay. You're still needing to see how many times can it fit. A 4 can fit into a 5 just once. So we're going to put a 1. And 1 times 4 is 4. And then I subtract. 5 minus 4 is 1. And then I bring down. And it's a 2. So now we're on a new number and we have a 12. Where did that 12 come from? We subtracted and brought down, and now this is what we're working with. So now we're working with the 12. I'll change color so you can see that. Repeat, go back and divide. We're dividing this number, 12 divided by four. That happens to be a fact family. Four can fit into 12 three times perfectly. Three times four is 12, then we subtract. 12 minus 12 is zero. Then we bring down. I don't have anything to bring down, and my remainder was a zero, so our complete answer is 213. Now, how do we know if we did that right? This is a very important part. Remember, this is considered a fact family. If I just divide it, I can go back and multiply, and it should work, which, is, which means that 213 times 4 should give me 852. This is really important to do when you're doing long division because if I get 852 as my answer, that means I did this right. And it's so important to go back and check. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5. 4 times 2 is 8. Yes, we did it right. Let's go ahead and do another example. So remember your steps. Does McDonald's sell burgers regularly? Oh, yes, they do. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and do one that might have a remainder. 625 divided by 4. Okay, so take a look at that problem. Be sure that you remember your steps. Always start with one digit at a time if you can. If 4 can fit into this one at least once, go ahead and start there. 4 can go into a 6 at least once because 4 is smaller than 6. It doesn't go above it. So 4 goes into 6 one time. Now I multiply. 1 times 4 is 4. Subtract. 6 minus 4 is 2. Bring down. Bring down one digit at a time. And now I'm working with the number 22. So I'm going to change colors. And I got my 22. Repeat. Go back and divide. 
22 divided by 4. It might not go in evenly, but I still need to know how many times it can fit. 4 times, hmm, let's try 4 times 4. That's 16. Well, I need to get at really close to 22. I need to get to 22, and if I can't hit 22 exactly, I need to get as close as I can to see how many times it can fit without going over 22. 4 times 5 is 20. Ooh, that's close. And 4 times 6 is 30, or I'm sorry, 4 times 6 is 24. Do you see how 6 is too much? 6 times 4 is 24. 24 is way bigger than 22. I can't do that. So the most it can fit is only 5 times. So, what were we doing? We were dividing. We were seeing how many times 4 can fit in a 22. The most it can fit is 5 times. So place your 5, and now we multiply. 5 times 4 is 20. Subtract. 2 minus 0 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. Okay, bring down. Bring down one digit at a time. The next digit is a 5. I'm going to switch colors. So now we're dividing because we repeat and we're back up to dividing. Now we're doing 25 divided by 4. Okay, so think back to our math facts. Well, we know that 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 6 is 24. Notice how I'm going to keep going because I need to get at least to 25 and I don't want to go above it. But let's see what 4 times 7 is. That's 28. 28 is way too high, so the most it can go in is 6 times. So we put your 6 up here, then we multiply. 6 times 4 is 24, then we subtract, and we have 1. Bring down. I don't have anything to bring down, so we have a remainder. So your answer is 156, but don't forget your remainder. Remainder 1. All right, you guys, I hope those two examples really help you with long division. Make sure, take your time, follow the steps, and always check your work afterwards. Thank you so much.